we didn't need to go somewhere else to understand what does it mean to be a climber. This is part of our DNA. It's natural for us. You need to climb a little bit to enjoy. Bueno, yo creo que sobre todo el tipo ciclista y es el ciclista vasco es calador, ¿no? Every detail counts. Can make a difference between winning or losing. A specific bike for a specific terrain. Bueno, corrí eh, como corredor de Euskaltel Euskadi 11 años. Eh, pasé en el 98 y hasta el 2008 estuve, estuve allí. Pues la verdad es que tengo súper buenos recuerdos, ¿no? Primero pienso que el ciclista nace eh, con unas características, pero luego eso se trabaja, ¿no? Eh, y bueno, el terreno que tenemos, lo abrupto que es, eh, nos hace ser un, unos ciclistas que, bueno, que para arriba van bien. El ciclista profesional tiene eh, un rol muy, muy importante, ¿no? Me ha tocado eh, probar cosas, eh, dar mi opinión. Está claro que cada, eh, los ingenieros de, de Ordea pues, bueno, eh, sacan sus conclusiones, pero luego eso hay que llevarlo a la realidad también, ¿no? En la bicicleta de carretera ya tienes dos opciones, la aero y, y la escaladora. Pueden ir por dos vías eh, completamente diferentes, ¿no? Porque, bueno, lo, los objetivos que se quieren conseguir con cada bici es diferente, ¿no? I'm from the Basque country, so a hilly place, you need to climb a little bit to enjoy. There are not like very long climbs, but yes, steep and short. Yeah, if you want to enjoy your ride, you, you need to climb a little bit. Clearly, the Omex climbing bike, for me, is the perfect bike. My big days normally were in mountain stages, where I was needing a light bike. Nowadays, these bikes are light, but are fast. Everything is very, you know, like uh, going to the limit. In the era where we are talking about the marginal gains, how is possible to think that a bicycle can rule of them? Consider like that Giro d'Italia. After more than 3,000 kilometers, the difference between the first and the second, it was just 14 seconds. If we are looking for the marginal gains on the climbs, we need a specific solutions for the climbs. When you are trying to merge aerodynamics, stiffness, compliance and weight, you cannot make everything work perfectly. If you want to improve the aerodynamics, the weight is going to be compromised. And if you compromise the weight, yes, you are more aero, but in the steepest climbs, this is not the most efficient bicycle. So we decided, okay, now is moment to go for two bicycles. Three years ago, when we launched the Orca Aero, we started thinking in the current generation of the Orca, where we absolutely reduce any aero features to get the best uh, weight, stiffness and compliance bicycle. To get a fast climbing bike, you need to have a low weight because the gravity is the most important aspect. 
weight is critical there. And aero development needs to be different from really efficient, fast climbing bike. Recuerdo muy bien aquel cambio, ¿no? Eh, sobre todo porque era un cambio que veníamos de eh, las bicis de aluminio, cuadros sobre todo, todos, eh, o sea, full eh, carbono, ¿no? Recuerdo que, bueno, en aquellos entonces también fue, ¿no? Eh, no era muy habitual, eh, bueno, eh, no había tantos biomecánicos a, alrededor de, a, muy cerca de ti, ¿no? Y Orbea decidió también hacer un molde especial. Y recuerdo que, que bueno, sobre todo en los corredores ya notamos que las bicis eran, eh, ganaban mucho más rigidez, ¿no? Orbea hizo un esfuerzo A y, y fuimos a Estados Unidos al túnel del viento, a San Diego, y, y sacamos muchas conclusiones, ¿no? Hoy en día quizá lo vemos como algo natural, ¿no? Que, 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 que se hagan esas cosas, pero en aquel entonces era algo como bueno, que había que hacer un gran esfuerzo. Pero bueno, desde Orbea también se vio que, que bueno, se podía evolucionar muchísimo y eran los inicios de, de, de lo que ahora vemos que es normal, que, que se hace año tras año eh, para ir mejorando, pero, pero bueno, en aquel entonces era algo nuevo, ¿no? Oh, muy bien. Echt uh, cinematic, eh. Ah, ya. It's uh, very important if you are on a bad material, then you won't, won't win a race. That's, uh, you'd still need a good rider, but if you have uh, a bike that's not very stiff or not very light, then you will suffer more. You have to produce more power and then it's uh, very hard to win races. So I need a, a good bike as well. We're in a high performance sport. Every detail counts. To have a good bike, I think it can make a, can make a difference between winning or losing. The climbing bike. It's really impressed me. From the moment I started testing them, they, they felt really stiff. They were felt really aggressive. And in the end, that's what you like about the bike. Um, I'm happy to see how the bikes are, and I, I'm confident that uh, that the bikes will do plenty of uh, of the work for us. Do you see you? When you are trying to climb, it's, it's challenging. If you can get one small advantage in the climbs, you need the best setup for that moment. You feel how steep is the climb, how the gravity is affecting your performance. Every watt you put on the bicycle is super hard to overcome gravity and uh, translate it in speed. For us, this is normal. We didn't need to go somewhere else to understand what does it mean to be a climber. This is part of our DNA. It's natural for us. <laughs> 